Gay Vegans run Specialized website, specialized.com, not sponsored, but I got asked to review on the dulce, 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 it's like a vegan seaweed, vegan go vegan, uh, dulce com evo, and it's a bit of a gravelly, not a gravel, it's just a bit of an adventure bike, I like it, I like it, it's got an alloy frame, it can run 32 tires, it looks like it probably run fenders as well, maybe a rack on there, and what I like is this, this, it's like an FSA crank, and we've got a 32 at the back, we've got hydro discs, the Shimano hydro disc works really good, with these levers, it works fucking powerful as, so let's have a look at the setup, this is what I really, this, this is what gets me, this is what gets me hard, is the FSA subcompact, so 48 32, so it's a 48 big ring, 32 little ring, that's a pretty good one, I'd like to see a 46 30, but I think we're heading in the right direction. Because really, a 50-34 is still a pretty hard gear if you're doing proper adventure gearing. I mean, proper adventure gearing, in my opinion, would be a 38-22. Yeah, at least a 38-22, 38-24 for proper adventure gearing. But this is a sign of the times. It's getting that way. You know, uh, Disc brakes, it's 785s. These are good. I've got, I've got a set of these and a few bikes. They're good. They're, Shimano make good shit. 27.2 seat posts, so a bit of flex, a bit of give. Um, the 685 hydro levers are very good. So I do like to look at this bike. Uh, the frame is the DAS Smart World uh, Women's Endurance. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Clearance wise, 30, the tires, 332s. So I would I would give someone a thumbs up. They've changed their website recently. Let's have a little zoom in on this one. Here we go, here we go. All right, so this is the crank set. It's a 48-32, so 32 little ring, 48 big one. Looks pretty good. I would like to see, though, uh, go back to the band clamp front derailleur mount. This direct mount, um, you know, brazed-on style, you're limited on how low you can get it to, if you want to run mountain bike cranks. You know, people say, oh, why do you want mountain bike cranks? Well, this is a fucking mountain bike almost, isn't it? We're riding on mountain bike trails, steep fry roads. We've got 32... Uh, mill cross style tires, you know, we've got long cage derailleur, which you don't really need for a 32, you can run a short cage, uh, Shimano 11 speed. But you can put a road link in there, an Indurex road link. I've actually got a whole lot of, ah, fuck, I was just in LA recently, I've got a whole stack of road links, I don't take the Thailand, but so you can run a 40 on the heat back here. But I do like the look of this, it, it can run fenders, it can run racks, so you can chuck some light, lightweight touring gear on there. It does look like a good bike. I would, I would definitely rate this bike. And it is actually in my buyer's guide, my cycling tips buyer's guide. I'll link that down below. So that's the review of the Specialized Dolce. Dolce? How do you spell it? Listen down below. Specialized, good. Got lots of work in the frames. Hydro Disc Shimano. Got that you know, bit of easy gearing, but more realistic gearing. I think it's, it's a good starting bike. And it's going to last a long, 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 long time. Especially if you lock it up right. Listen down below. What bike should we review next? We'll see you on the road. Cut the fuck up, go vegan.